I converted my uh, it's a 83 Mercedes to run on used vegetable oil. Started collecting oil from a bunch of different restaurants. Had it stored here in the house and I was just <clears throat> pouring the oil directly into my fuel tank. And then I start to realize, I start to experience some um, clogged filters. People, uh, you know, post have their forms on you know, how their vehicles are running and how they're cleaning up their oil. WBO Designs came up, checked out their product, and um, decided to give the centrifuge process a whirl. And uh, it's turned out really good. I could tell you that after the first batch, it was really clean looking oil. You know, you hold it up and the clarity is, is really good. There's no suspended fluid particle sediments. I would recommend it to anybody who's looking at processing used oil for their vehicle, for their friends, for a co-op maybe, a bunch of people get together and um, collect their own oil and want to make sure they have a good polished, clean product. I think it's certainly a better way to go than setting up a filtering system. This used to be a, a b agricultural barn of some sorts, and then the new owner, uh, he's in the storage business. So he subdivided the barn into six different uh, warehouse and workshop spaces. So I've got my oil storage and processing facility in here. So this is a big heavy door. So come on in to where we have the little oil processing facility here. Um, I'm renting about, I think it's about 250 square feet. And it's a perfect kind of rough warehouse for processing used oil. Um, so everybody has their own different set up and processing according uh, to their needs. We have um, probably 3,000 liters just stored in the original uh, 16 liter containers. Pick them up from various restaurants up and down the Sunshine Coast here. Bring them in and then eventually get the used oil up into this top tank. And you may be wondering what this big pump is. This is a, it's actually a gas powered Briggs and Stratton pump. And uh, so this will be pulled over to this tank here. These are thousand liter totes. And then we fire up the pump. It's about 20 gallons per minute. It does a real skookum job of getting the oil up into the, the top tank there. Before going over the, how we got the centrifuge set up, we'll just show you the bottom tank here has the clean oil in it. And then I have a smaller electric pump here to draw the clean oil off into these containers, which I supply to friends who also have converted their diesels to run on the used vegetable oil fuel. Um, You've probably seen the videos on uh, Leon's site on how the centrifuge actually works in detail. Um, here's the setup for the centrifuge here. Pop it open. And um, so here's the intake. The oil will pour out of there into the swirling, turning inner chamber. It's going up to 6,000 RPM. And then through centri centrifugal force, it's sending out all the heavy particles to the outer ring on that drum. And uh, here's proof that it does work. That's cleaned out maybe after 500 liters. So that's all food particle gunk that would be, um, you know, if it hadn't been cleaned up. You got your uh, drain here from the outer chamber and then just through a gravity fed flow, it's now being con contained in this uh, lower um, thousand liter drum. This is the uh, little computer terminal here, controls the RPM. 
and uh, we turn it on. And we can adjust the RPM. And the suggested is 6,000 RPM. See that's that's way too much. I will draw the oil out of the bottom tote where the clean oil is, and then there's I have an electric pump with a nozzle, and uh, we'll just stretch it out and put it in her fuel tank, and um, pull the old trigger here on the nozzle and fill her up. So we got our alternative fueling station. And um, then other customers, a couple of guys, you know, they just like to, they got their own pumps. They've ordered these pumps from Plant Drive. And um, then I will take their clean oil in these 16 contain liter containers, maybe supply them with one guy give them, you know, 160, 200 liters at a time, and then he fills up his tank on demand when he needs it. Yeah, one of the main reasons I've had to do this little operation in a warehouse, you know, where it's locked and self-contained is, there's so many bears on the coast here, and they can pick up the smell of vegetable oil from miles away around. If this was, <laughs> this is in, you know, a backyard operation or in an open, set up and it would be destroyed by bears they'd be all over this stuff especially before hibernation period they'd be fattening up on dish boil all day long um we can go to a local restaurant here the fellow called me up uh, last night left a message saying he's got uh i think he said about eight or ten jugs of oil down at a greek restaurant in gibson's so why don't we just head over there now and uh we'll pick up some oil Yeah, he's just going to follow me with his camera. Okay. Well... We're at Leo's Greek restaurant. He calls me maybe once a month and he's got six containers of used oil. So he cleans his filter, or cleans his uh, fryer or fire. I hope maybe he uses one. Maybe it might use like 16 liters for maybe a week or so. And then he changes it over so the oil is nice and clean. Because you can tell if the oil is used a bit too often, it comes out in the taste of the, uh, the food. So he wants to make sure it's clean. And before I came along, I think he was just throwing it out into the dumpster which is illegal to begin with. So, let's get some off the hook. And get me some nice oil for my centrifuge to clean up.
So this is our 83 Mercedes diesel that uh, burns the waste vegetable oil. Um, <clears throat> this setup is um, from a company here in BC, uh, Plant Drive Systems. Uh, with the Mercedes diesel, it's a one tank system, so there's, there's not a second tank that holds the vegetable oil. You can mix the diesel and the vegetable oil together. So all we've got here is um, an extra 5 micron filter and then the heater down here is, um, is driven or heated up by the battery. The oil is coming through this line here and through the filter and then there's a secondary line here and if you can make it out there's a setup here where there's um, one final approach before it hits the injectors it's heated up again by a um, heater runoff of the coolant um, and then the lift pump takes it in and sprays it into the injectors i'll go up to the warehouse and turn on the centrifuge and just let it run all night long and then come back in the morning and um, you know it takes a good 10 12 hours to process a thousand liters but uh, yeah it's it's um, as long as you got all your uh, hose connections snug and um, everything's stable then uh, it's pretty much um, a foolproof system so let her run through yeah like I said about 10 12 hours and then you got a full thousand liters of good clean um, polished up oil ready to, to put directly into uh, the diesel um, tank I think um, that's about it. <laughs>